everyone, it's Bowser of Galaxy 10. Welcome back to Earthbound. In the last episode, we defeated Gygas. Yeah, that's a big thing. So now, the world is completely avoided of enemies except for the one glitch that can possibly happen, which I mentioned earlier. So, what does that mean? You can go to every single area and they will have text. We will not be doing all of it. <laughs> because God, that's a lot of text. A bit too much text, I'd say. If you want to go through it, you are very much welcome to. There is a lot to go through. Like, honestly, I'd recommend just looking up an ending guide at the moment. Because there is a lot. Like, at least, like, two hours worth of content that you could be, could be seeing. However, we will not be doing so. Because that would take way too long, and honestly, I think I just want <laughs> to be, uh, we'll talk to a few, though. Chance of Gygas gaining victory with his monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gygas fails. I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. It's a miracle. A miracle that has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. I should have used the face disorder. What a story that would have been. Scientists and four kids saved the world. <laughs> Zoom. Was scared. Now KO. I strong. Boing. Oh, oh, <gasps> breathe is so good! <laughs> so yeah, the entire world is devoid of enemies now. I was in Winters that last- that we last met? I just got here. T, T, T. Incredible! Excellent! I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on a job well done! If we ever have the chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes, too! Well, as they all say, the close only comes in horseshoes and hand grenades. I think new things, difficult things, from now. Happy boing, more happy ding ding, much more happy boo boos. Big big happy zoom! And Paula ends at 69! So there is, so there is a few options that I'm giving Joel now. Bring Paula home with us, or bring her home, because you actually do get different lines if you if you bring her home and if you bring her to your house. <laughs> so basically, do I ship Ness with Paula or no? Yes. Dang it. Why do you make me make these decisions? Well... <laughs> we will let the virtual dice decide. <laughs> On it it is. <laughs> Alright, you ship! <laughs> By the way, all the music changes to to the to the because I love you theme. The game ships these two. <laughs> because I love you, like a brother, but only closer. <laughs> so 
So yeah, just look up an ending guide for everything else, because there's a lot. This is Paula. I really should go home. I shouldn't be out just wandering here and there. Don't you think so? No. Okay, I guess I would like to be with you a little longer. Hi, it's your dad! To get to the next level... <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Uh, next, will, next week will be your birthday, Ness. I try very hard to be home for that big day. What are you talking about? You are home! Oh my god, he actually thinks I'm this phone. <laughs> I'm sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely. And I want to hear about them from you, in person. You seem a lot more mature over the phone. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'll see you at home then. Bye. By the way, I'm glad you got over your cold. Oh, by the way. Yo, this is the lazy cowpoke stop and go? Yeah, we're a new truck stop. We just opened. What's that? The Stoic Club? That lame old place shut down ages ago. We totally remodeled the place. Now we've got loud music, great food, and really rowdy crowds. Listen, buddy, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Just drop by any time. You come, you enjoy. I promise. By the way, you can't actually get in there. Of course. Well, the dogs haven't figured it out yet. Well, I know that you guys saved the world. Whoop. I am a way smarter dog. Goody, my brother's back! You got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork. If you have any problems with your assignments, I'll help you. Don't get freaked out. Did Scarlet Express, my old company, help you? I've saved some money, so we'll do the lunch thing sometime. You also got a new girlfriend! Your adventure must have been pretty good! Do you need help with anything other than your schoolwork? Okay, you relax now. Hey mom, guess who I got? Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I like to hear all your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. I want to have a chance to get to know your little girlfriend. It's good to meet you, Paula. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over. Please come back here. <laughs> that took my brain way too long to process. The photo man brought an album phone. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd like to look at it with you. I'm a pornographic genius. Did you finish doing everything you wanted to? Okay, now you can finally show your incredible experiences with me. You did so well! And that was Earthbound. Yo, your thoughts? Um, I think this is a, I think this is a very good game. Um, it is really weird, <laughs> clearly on purpose. I do find it a little bit I don't know how I feel about... It feels like a lot of it is weird for the sake of being weird, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Mm -hmm. Um... But it's a... Like... There's a... There's a lot of stuff in this game where it just feels like... They're like, Let, let's do this weird thing, because we can! And it kind of feels a little bit filler. Like, a lot of the game feels a little bit fillerish. But... It's it's also just really creative and fun. So I don't mind it way too much. Yeah, um, this is pretty much a... Clearly, like, a road trip kind of video game. Where it's, where it's like, it's not the main adventure, it's the moments on the way to it. 
Yeah. Like, it's not the destination, it's the way you went to the destination. As far as... One thing that I did find, like, a little bit disappointing is, like, I don't really, like, none of the, like, none of the party felt all that compelling these characters to me. They're just like, oh yeah, they're, they're in the party, and they do stuff. Yeah, I think Mother Free had a lot yeah. more better than with that, but you can't really, like, hurt this game yeah. too much from it. My, I... If I, if I compare this to Mother 3, I feel like Mother 3, it loses a little bit something in the weird goofiness department, but it feels like a much more cohesive, it feels like a much more cohesive story, and I enjoyed it more than yeah. this one. Yeah, this one, it definitely has... Like, like, Mother Free is the story one, and this one is the moments on the way one. Yeah. As far as the final battle, though, um, I feel like that was... That was done pretty much as well as it could have. Yeah. Like, because we didn't... Because I didn't feel like we got, like, an emotional connection to a lot of the characters, I felt like it wasn't as strong as it could be. But, other than that, it was, like, the, the whole, like, out, all the friends you made along the way gave you power so you could defeat the final villain thing. And there's the yeah. joke I've been making the whole time. That actually is, that's his dad. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, the whole, like, the, the way the actual final battle was done... As far as like that, or that like archetype of final battle where it's like the friends we made along the way help us to win the day. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean that rather right wrong. Uh, I feel like this actually did that better than just about any other game I've seen trying to do that kind of thing. Yeah. The and only here's thing the missing. For the the only thing man, missing so. was the emotional connection to the characters. Yeah. What I really liked was, I liked that it wasn't the main character who was, like, initiating it. I thought it was cool that Paulo was the one doing it. And I also thought it was cool that you still have to, like, play the game <laughs> yeah. while you're doing it. So, yeah, this is the reason for all the Photo Man stuff. You get the ending images. I still love how, like, Ness is super, is all they're doing, and everybody else is just like, what the heck is happening? <laughs> Part of Ness's character. <laughs> he just goes with it. <laughs> Music of the game? Um. Rest in peace, Iwata. Yeah. Back when you were a programmer credit. <laughs> Yeah, um, there's, there's a lot of music in this game where I'm just like, oh man, this is just really excellent. There is some music where I'm just like, it's just this weird sound and my brain can't process what it's supposed to be. Yeah. But, I think it's a good soundtrack. I think it's yeah. a very good soundtrack. Overall. It's one of the biggest of, of any of the... Of the series. <laughs> yeah, it is like, impressive it is how a, much there is in Yeah, it. from just an SNES cartridge, like, this thing's like 16 megabytes and they fit all this in. So yeah, this game hit my heart in a p very good time when I played it. I would say Mother Free I, is the much better game, but Earthbound is still great to this day. This game is oh my god, this game's over 25 years old. <laughs>
25 years past this game, and Mother Free still isn't released. <laughs> I'd be a lot angrier if the fan translation wasn't a thing. I'll be honest with Mother Free. Yeah. But yeah, this game is still great. So yeah, that... Also, funny thing about the Sega Sato Itoi doing the OK Ska at the beginning, that was actually done without his knowledge. <laughs> someone did. Someone recorded him saying "okay" without his knowledge and put it into the game. <laughs> and he's the one that says "okay, Sko" when you put, when you put in a character's name at the beginning. Hmm. I wonder if Ness saying "okay" as a taunt is a reference. To yes, that. it is. <laughs> huh? I did not know that. I thought that was just a random thing that people thought was funny and turned it into a meme. No! Nope. <laughs> no, it's e toy. <laughs> it's a joke on e toy. I wonder. Also, they I don't actually mention it in the in the English credits, but the but the original but the uh, Saturn font in the original game is actually based off of S S Shigesato e toy's daughter at the time because of her weird Japanese handwriting. <laughs> He found it funny, so he made it the Saturn font. And then the Amer and then America had to like, oh crap, what are we gonna do here? <laughs> and then made their own. Hey <laughs> wada. This is one of the first games to do the play player name in the credits. Hello, it's your dad! That's <laughs> <laughs> freaking dang it! Been out there a long time now! Don't you think it'd be a good idea if you took a break? <laughs> I was saying your point about the pain of the world being an stake. <laughs> was that actual coincidence? <laughs> yes, that oh. is just, that is a sheer coincidence. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Someone's knocking on the door. What an annoying knock. This sounds familiar. My... What? My land? He questions <laughs> since we heard it first, Bart. <laughs> well, that's different. A letter I write from my brother, Pokey, is addressed to Ness. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, Come and get me, loser! Spangity, spangity, spangity! I wonder where he is. And to think, Americans are still stuck on this cliffhanger until Mother Free releases officially. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep,
Yep, yep, yep. Yep. And that is it for Earthbound. So, the next time we meet in the Earthbound series, however, I will be doing the ver my very, very odd, indecisive <laughs> feeling game, the original Mother game. Mother 1. <laughs> Also known as Mother One slash Earthbound Zero slash Earthbound Beginnings slash Earthbound apparently <laughs> slash I am confused. So yeah, and the next time we see in the Earthbound series, we'll be doing Mother One because it's the only game left <laughs> until Oddity at least, which is the Mother Four fan game that's got a new name now. I'll count it. But for my next Let's Play, I'm not entirely sure which one I'll be doing next. But we'll figure that out later. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. Glad I finally got to do this game for the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.